years since Saudi Arabia dragged along a coalition of Arab states to launch an unjustified war against Yemen. None of the Saudi military goals have been met. On the contrary, the Yemeni armed forces have gained more ground influence. However, the toll from the inhumane aerial and sea blockade that have taken on the people of Yemen is devastating. Yemenis need urgent humanitarian assistance to fend off hunger, to access vital health services, to maintain their dignity and resilience, and to rebuild their communities wrecked by Mohammed bin Salman's bombs. Recognized as the world's worst humanitarian crisis for the past four years, the country is now plunging towards the worst famine the world has seen in decades. Today in Yemen, 20 million people, that is two out of every three Yemenis, need some form of humanitarian and protection assistance. Of these, 12 million people are in acute need. More than half of the population are facing severe levels of food insecurity. Cases of serious malnutrition among children under five are the greatest ever recorded. Preventable disease is pervasive and morbidity and mortality are increasing. Someone better grab Mohammed bin Salman and ask him already. Is it worth it? What is so much more important than the life of a Yemeni kid starving to death because you simply impose a blockade on an entire nation? What about the consecutive U.S. administrations and European regimes who support Mohammed bin Salman's incremental genocide against Yemen? Do they ever consider individual Yemenis, especially the countries most susceptible, who are starving, suffering from disease and bearing the brunt of almost six years of unjustified and inhumane war and blockade? Every one of them already knows that the only way to end the crisis in Yemen is through a lasting and inclusive peace. That can only be achieved if and when Saudi Arabia stops dropping bombs, lifts the blockade, and climbs down from its iron throne to sit at the negotiations table with the Yemeni armed forces. Quite ludicrous, to be honest with you, that Mohammed bin Salman can sit and talk with Netanyahu, but has a hard time doing the same with a nation that he shares the same history and culture with in the Arabian Peninsula. Hands off Yemen already.